I like fell and hurt my knee so that's a thing that happened and it's hurting. Yes Lydia, congratulations, you fell over and hurt your knee and it's hurting! Don't let me drown. Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here, hi, hello, how you doing? Today I'm sat in a hotel room in Wrexham and it's raining, Wales. Always wins. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just alone in a hotel room. Um, so those of you who don't know, I was in hospital recently and my medication got changed. Before going into hospital, I was taking diazepam regularly. Um, I was also on Zopiclor with Venlafaxine and Propanolol. Issues with that medication choice. The Propanolol makes me paranoid. The sleeping tablets don't do anything. And the diazepam, my body got very used to. Venlafaxine, I'm still on. Basically, I don't use this how you so suit. All my meds are in there. There's the lorazepam that I take. There's the venlafaxine, there's the quetiapine, there's the trazodone, and there is my sleeping tub. So I take, I'm gonna take my morning reds now to be fair. It looks like cocaine for fuck's sake. So I'm gonna take my morning reds and then we'll explain what each of them are and the changes that I've gone through to get to them, them to where I'm at now. Because medication is something that I need for my mental health. And I know there's a ton of people out there who are 100% against medication, won't touch it because pharmaceutical companies are just in it for the money. I disagree with that argument. Medication helps. It it helps and it helps me sleep and lorazepam helps my anxiety. Two antidepressants I'm on, trazodone and venlafaxine, help with my depression a lot. I, I'm actually able to get out of bed and do stuff. Um, like, hello, I'm near the end of the country at the moment and about a month ago I didn't leave my bed. I mean, I haven't made the bed, but that's the point. I'm lazy. I didn't bring any of my Ensure drinks with me, so I... Um, the ones that are new to me are weird, like the Quetiapine's new to me, and taking Lorazepam as a regular thing rather than just when needed is a different thing for me. And the Trazodone's new. I, I'll talk about them. I'll tell you what, the, I've gone from using Venlafaxine Extended Release to using just generic effects or which means I have to have it twice a day. So when I was in hospital my meds got changed a lot. I got started on quetiapine which is an antipsychotic. Those of you who don't know me will know that I've been on antipsychotics before and they have been horrific. I've had such bad experiences on them. Quetiapine is one of the ones that helps and I, I, I don't remember why I stopped taking it, but it, it helps, so I'm on it now, and it, my life is a lot more stable. I'm a lot more here and happy, and that's where I want to be. Lorazepam is in that one. Uh, I take that four times a day, which it helps my anxiety. I can have, technically I can have four milligrams a day. I choose to go for two milligrams and have half a milligram each time. Otherwise, I'm just asleep all the time. Like, it sends me to sleep. Um, trazodone is also an antidepressant. I'm on two antidepressants at the moment and I've got to say they do work very well together. People on Twitter have been a bit off with me about my meds just because they're like, oh you're on a really strong cocktail of meds and I'm just like, yeah, but I need to be? Like one person in particular was like, you should be careful, you're on a really high, like, you're on really strong medication, you shouldn't be going out or anything. Me. I know what my body does, I know how. I've been on medication for like nearly seven years. Seven years now? No, I've been on medication for a long time. Like, my body can take quite a lot of it and taking medication is just something that I have to do for my own mental health. I need to, it makes my life easier. When it comes to taking meds, I have a lot of anxiety about taking medication. Like, I always get paranoid that it's gonna get stuck in my throat and I'm gonna choke on it, especially with the capsules. So the psychiatrist put them all onto tablets apart from trazodone because they didn't have any trazodone that wasn't. So before my camera stopped recording I was talking about how my meds are mainly a tablet form. I prefer that to capsules. I don't like swallowing capsules because I get scared they're get stuck in my throat. All in all I think that's about what I've got to say. I'm happy on the meds that I'm on. They are working, they are helping me. I don't think not everyone's going to agree with me being on medication or medication being the only thing I did have in place. I, I see a support worker once a week, but 
all my medication was changed while I was inpatient and it's been working. I've been out of hospital nearly a week now, which makes me happy. I'm going to see Kay on Tuesday and I'm so excited to meet her again. Like, I'm so looking forward to that break. I'm going to university tomorrow, which, big deal, I haven't been to uni in like nearly two months because of my mental health, so it's going to be great to go back. All in all, I think psychiatric medication works and anyone who says, oh it's just pharmaceutical companies trying to make money, it's all just a placebo effect. It's not, like, these medications have been proven to help people. Like, would you say to someone who's in pain that taking paracetamol is a placebo effect? Like, no, it genuinely helps them with pain. Anyone who shames anyone for psych meds, just fuck off, fucking, fucking leave, please. Like, I know my mum gets a bit funny with me over to how much I take, but, but I have to. Like, if I don't, I'm not functioning well in society. It's something I'm not sure I'm ready to put out, to be blunt. I just, I hit a very low point and it just wasn't good. I was in hospital for nearly a month, making it the longest admission I've had within the last year. You know what? It did help. It, it really did help. And you know what? I don't know where I'd be at the moment if I hadn't agreed to start taking new meds. Um don't think I've got much more to say in this video other than my meds were. I don't really have any side effects of any of these. I don't have any like side effects at all. None. They all do what they're supposed to do and I don't have any side effects. But yeah, this has been a little video talking about medication I take and a ramble about side meds I guess. I'm gonna end this video here anyway. Thank you for watching, thank you for supporting me and if you are new here hit the subscribe button and i'll be back very soon with a new video i try and upload every day to every other day i upload very regularly and i try to answer comments as much as i can believe me my life is quite busy you guys don't see the full level of busyness my life is but believe me i'm running always running around london like a headless chicken it's been a nice break being in wrexham not gonna lie anyway i'll see you guys soon peace